Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with the pilot episode of Geometry. Okay, so let's get right into this. Welcome to this class. Um, my name is Mr. Why does it do that? It always does that. Holcomb. And today's date, well, I'm recording this on August 25th, but you aren't going to watch this for, oh, I don't know, a couple of weeks, September or something. So then when you put the date, obviously, you always put the date that you're doing it. So just today's date. And the topic, well, this is unit one, lesson one. And this is geometry. Okay, so get that out of the way. So on to our main idea question. <clears throat> Starting out with the most basic of all things in geometry, and that is a point. What is a point? A point is a location. It's something. It's a representation by a dot on usually a coordinate plane or usually just a plane without the coordinates, depending. So it has no size and it has no shape. Okay, you always use a capital letter to name a point. Example, this right here, that is point A. Okay, lowercase letters, we'll get to very soon, that's the side of something or a line. So let, notice right here, this line N is named with a lowercase letter. So a line is made up of points. You always need at least two points to form a line. The line has to go through those two points and continue in both directions forever. That is the definition of a line. Okay, any two points can form a line, like I just said. You need at least two. If you only have one point, you can't draw a line because how would you do it? Well, is the line going this way? Or is the line supposed to go this way? So given a second point, it tells you where the line has to be. So if you only have one point, there are actually infinite places you could draw a line through the same point. So if you have two line, two points, there's only one possible line that goes through those two points. A line has no thickness. and the line has no width, okay? It's just a line, okay? So over here, I could name this. Well, it's a capital letter X, capital letter Y, and then you put a double arrow over top, and it's red line. You read what's above the letters first. You say line X, Y, okay? The other way to name it is with an italic letter, like I already stated right here. So I could call this line, n okay or we could just say line x y any one of those three is correct i actually prefer this or this uh collinear points first definition collinear points are points that lie on the same line so x and y points x and point y are collinear non-collinear points are points that do not lie on the same line you have to have at least three points to have a non-collinear point, okay? So in other words, if I put a dot right here and named it Z, it is not on line X, Y. There is no way I can draw a line through it because by definition, a line is straight. So point Z would be non-collinear to points X, Y. Okay, and so there's collinear and non-collinear. Okay, a plane. Well, this piece of paper here is basically a plane, but what we usually try to remember is that a plane can go in all directions forever. Okay, so a plane is a flat surface. Made up of points, okay? Any two points make up a plane, or I mean three. Any three points make up a plane. So if you only had two points, that's a line. Any three points now make up a plane. So I'll do that down here. So if I had X here, 
and I had Y here and I had Z here, well then I can connect these and that is a flat surface. It's a triangle in this case and therefore it is considered a plane. Okay, by definition, it's a flat surface made up of points, but you need three points to make it a flat surface. A plane extends indefinitely in all directions. Name a plane by three non-collinear points on the plane or an uppercase script letter. Okay, so let me just get my highlighter out here. My uppercase script letters right there. Okay. So here's an example. I could name this plane, uh, just this letter here. So I could say, well, that is plane P. Or I could name it plane and choose any three points on that plane. Plane J, K, L. Coplanar points, points that lie on the same plane are coplanar. Now, if I had another point, let's say up here, and called it M, well, it's not on that plane. Picture that as being up higher. Picture this as a rug on the floor, and M is up on the wall. It's not on that plane. It's not on the floor, and therefore it's non-coplanar. So points that do not lie on the same plane, that is non-coplanar. And there must be at least four points because you need three points to create a plane. The fourth point being non-coplanar has to be off that plane. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, okay, and then finally, intersecting lines and planes. So point P right here is where line R and line S intersect. Okay, so two lines always intersect at a point. And two planes always intersect on, see how these two planes intersect right here? They intersect at a line. Okay, so when two planes intersect, they form a line. When two lines intersect, they form a point. Okay, so that's really it. It's a very short lesson. I'll do some examples next. Okay, so let's um, put our notes to work. Let's see if we understand what all these notes said. It says, number one, using the diagram to the right, name the following. Four, four collinear points. Okay, well, M, N, and O are collinear. See them right here? They're on the same line. They're on the line P. J, K, and L are three points that are collinear. They're on Q. But it said to name four collinear points. Well, that's H, N, K, L. Okay. And that's it. Uh, part B, a line that contains point M. So where's point M? What line is it? I would call that line P. You could also call it MN. So let's go through this, okay? We're talking about this line here, so let me highlight it. We're talking about this line right here, line P. So remember, it takes two points to form a line and you can name a line with any two points. So the symbol for a line is this double arrow and just pick two points. It could be named line MN. It could be named line NM. It could be named line NO. It could be named line ON. It could be named line MO, or we could name it line OM. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different ways we can name that line right there, okay? Any two points on the line in any order can name a line or the letter that's next to the line in italic, okay? They only asked for one, so I just simply line P, but I wanted to point that out to you. Part C, a line that con contains point H and K. Well, that's this line right here, and that's line R. Okay, let me just erase this now. Another name for line Q. Well, where's line Q? It's right here. That is this line right here. So remember what I just told you? You can pick any two points on that line and name it. 
So I could put an arrow on top and just pick two letters, JK. Line JK, line KJ, line JL, line LJ, line KL, line LK. E, the intersection of line P and R. Okay, let me erase this. So let me get my highlighter. So line P is right here. And line R is right here. Okay, so I thought I clicked there, right here and right here. Here's R, here's P. Line P and line R, where do they cross? Where do they intersect? Right here, what's the name of that point? N, okay? So I'll say point N, remember it's capital, okay? Or you could just put the letter N. Okay, so here's number two. So always look at the diagram. I always look at the diagram before I even read the questions. So what do we have here? Well, let me highlight it. We have a plane, which is called M. We have a line, which is called J. Let me use a different color. We have a line that's called B. So we have two lines. Oh, that's a point B, I'm sorry. This is line K. So we have a line J here, a line K here. Point B is on line K. So we need to be careful there. Now notice something here. Point A, point D, point E, and point F are on plane M. So they're coplanar. Point B, point E, and point C are on the same line. They're collinear. You getting this? Okay. But point B and point C are not on plane M, so they're non-collinear. Okay, so I just re reviewed all of our new uh, vocab, and now let's answer the questions. Use the diagram to the right to name the following. A line containing point F. Well, where's F? It's right here, and that is line J. So I'll just say line J. I could have also named it line D, E, E, D, E, F, F, E, and so on, okay? Another name for line K. So just put a line symbol and pick two points on it. B, C works for me. <clears throat> if you said C, B, that's correct. If you said B, E, sure. E, B, yeah. E, C, mm -hmm. C, E, yes. Part C, a plane containing point A. Well, that's plane M. Okay, so plane M. An example of three non-collinear points. So all you have to do is pick three points that are not on the same line. So I could say D, A. So those two would be on a line right here. And there's no other points that can be on that straight line. So any of these letters would work. How about C? Okay. All you have to do is pick three points that are not on the same line. There's many. A, D, B, B, E, F, F, E, C, C, D, E, and so on, and so on, and so on. <clears throat> e, the intersection of plane M and line K. So plane M is here. Line K is here. They intersect right there at point E. Okay. Okay, let's move along, number three. So here I have a plane, and then I have four points that are coplanar, and point Z up here all by itself is non-coplanar to R. But then we have one, two, three, four more planes that are triangular shaped, but remember planes go on forever and ever and ever in every direction. All right, so anyway. Three coplanar points. Just simply pick three points that are on R. So V, W, X. A plane containing point X. Well, that's R. Okay. And if you want to put the word plane before it, that's okay too. The intersection is probably better to do that because if you just put a capital letter, it's hard to write it like this. 
And if someone sees a capital R, they might think it's a plane. So say plane R. The intersection of plane R and plane ZVY. So let me get my highlighter. And here is ZVY right here. Okay, it's this left side, if you if you will, of this uh, pyramid. And it says the intersection of plane R, and this is also a plane, basically. And what are two planes? Where do they intersect? They intersect from the notes uh, at a line. So it's right there they intersect. So it is line V, V, Y. Okay. All right. So let me stop right there. And we haven't talked about it yet. Notice how these don't go on forever and ever. So really, that is not a line. It is a line segment. So you would do this without the arrows. Okay. And we'll get into more detail in that in a little bit. So how many planes appear in the figure? Well, you have plane R. That's one. You have the left side, two, the right side, three, the back side, four, and the front side, five. So there are five planes. You don't want to name V, Y, X, W as a plane because remember, planes go on forever in every direction. And since both all four of those are coplanar, it's the same, they're on the same plane as R, then two planes sitting on top of each other are just one plane. Okay. How many planes contain? This point W right here. So let me get my eraser. There's point W. Well, it's on plane R. So that's one. Plane or point W is also on this plane right here. Plane V, Z, W. And it is also point W is also on this side of the pyramid, if you will. And that's another plane. So it's on three planes. Okay. Now it says number four, use the diagram to the right <clears throat> to name the following. So now we have two planes, a line going through, line L goes through both planes. And then we have a line on plane Q. All right. So there's all kinds of stuff going on here. A, the intersection of line L and line M. So let me get my highlighter. Where's line L? Line L is right here. Where's line M? It's right here. Where do they intersect? Right there. Whoops, that's too big. Right here, and that is called point E. Okay, so I'm just gonna simply call it capital E. Okay, another name for plane Q. So let me get rid of this. Let me highlight plane Q. Plane Q is this plane right here. Okay, so there's the Q. And so you can pick any three points on that plane. So I could call it plane um, F E G F E I F I. How about F I? G, plane fig. Okay. C, let's get rid of this. R points D and E. So let me get my highlighter. Point D is right here. Point E is right here. R points D and E collinear or coplanar. Okay. So be careful when you answer questions because something might not be um, clear, but might be a different answer. Let me explain this. So point D is on plane P. Point E is on plane Q. Those are two different planes. So they're not coplanar. <clears throat> okay. But if we had another plane going and we had another point up, say, look, right here, and there's a third plane and D and E were both on them, you could say they're coplanar. But in this case, they are both on line L. So these are collinear. But they're not coplanar because we need three points to form a plane. Okay. 
they only gave us two planes here. You could argue the fact that, well, here's H. So this is a plane right here. And then it goes on forever in every direction. So D and E are also called planar. But with respect to this diagram, they didn't draw the, that plane. So let's just stick with the collinear. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, part D, how many times do planes P and Q intersect? Here's plane P, here's plane Q. And it doesn't look like they do. They look like they're parallel planes. So they don't intersect zero. They intersect zero times. Okay. Okay. So this brings us to the end of lesson one, unit one, lesson one. This is homework one. So please do this. Show all work if required. Not really much work to show yet. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.